<clears throat> see for marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com, Martin Luther King Day, and we're just after the open. Reminding traders use risk capital you can afford to lose. <clears throat> Anybody that's playing short side today, a, a retest, we've got trap longs. A retest is going to be in this 54 area. That would be a retest of Friday's middle potential target for today. <coughs> Come down, <coughs> excuse me, get into that 54 to 52 zone we've talked about. So we said let's use that as aggressive support. Gets below that, then it's searching for deeper support. And overnight, we've made lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. <clears throat> so a potential target to come down and, and test into that range. Everybody's playing short. Should have stops down by now. And this is like a sweeper trade on the, on the longs, trying to squeeze <clears throat> those late longs as well. This is a perfect setup by the boys. <clears throat> I was thinking if the boys could get it back down into the 54 to 52 range, they've done well because it's so thin. They displayed the opening rotation and <clears throat> taken it south side. Should be taking profits for sure. And just use the trailer for a couple minutes. And a reminder, <clears throat> trading is risky. You don't have to be in the market all the time. <clears throat> you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to be in the market all day long. If you came in and you make a couple of trades, make a couple of points, get out of the way and go play. Nothing says you can't play for half an hour or an hour and then get about your business. Today's the kind of day that <clears throat> most traders will not get involved but the markets are always open. Market never sleeps. And it's good and bad. It's good if you're disciplined, <clears throat> bad if you're a junkie and don't have a life and that's all you do. My expectation is still <clears throat> that we are going to <clears throat> have an inside day. This is a five-minute RTH chart. And I said, let's use that 67 <clears throat> as resistance. And I was looking at this chart to help make that decision too. Because you can see where the moving averages were here, the blue line, we were well under it, <clears throat> had not been able to get back up above it. So when you're looking pre-market, look at this chart too to help give you an edge. And I think today is one of those days you get out of the way. If you're playing, you, you play early and then <clears throat> take some time off. This is Friday's middle. That's what we're looking at here. <clears throat> I said potential test down in here into that <clears throat> 54 range. Not yet, but getting close. And you can see that our setup from um, Friday. Where we left off, resistance.
And then <clears throat> this would be that middle zone that I had talked about here. So if you looked at this chart, this was also very helpful to say <clears throat> this box has been abandoned. This was our resistance box. So all I did there was, was, was take the same size and say, okay, so if that's the interval size that's being used, and let's just put it up there and say that's our next resistance <clears throat> fighting box <clears throat> and then next support box. Just using laws of proportion. <clears throat> and we can see how little volume there is. So doing this more to help traders just get their head around the game instead of being away from the market for three days. <clears throat> the way when traders come in, they want to take a look at a video or they want to take a look at a couple of ideas, they'll have something to, <clears throat> instead of being so far detached from it. <clears throat> Great game the boys have played. A reminder, we talked about 56 and a quarter as a potential target and a potential support that needs to be busted. And sometimes you'll hit this and bounce and come out the other side. Other times you'll bounce and then chew it, <clears throat> take some time. Uh, this is a good example where you chew it and you come back up and you come through it and then you start to lose it and then you come down and test the next one. <clears throat> so nobody should think of this as a one-way day today. Turns out to be that way, I'll be very surprised. And whenever we have this type of a relationship over and under, it talks to a neutral type of market. Certainly not bearish because we're above but stretched away from the rain line. But now we're under the slope line that gives us the power. You can see where that <coughs> power hits come from last couple of days. Killed the puts and now here we are <coughs> with a regression trade. Little double right here, <clears throat> you can see was the key. Still is. And for now, got the highs. Coming through here, a little bit of a trend line we'll draw. <laughs> Anybody that <coughs> wants long side, we suggested you're going to use the 52 to 54 support. And if you get beat, you get beat, take your stop. Thinking about trading for a couple of points if you're trading, risk two, make two, get out of the way, accumulate. <clears throat> 